Welcome to Archive Leaf. Today we're going to be going over the project portal. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually log into our project portal. So we're going to log in now. After logging in, it's actually going to take you to your main project page. So this is going to actually show you all your projects that you have listed off right here. So what we're going to look at first though, is we're going to actually look at our main dashboard page. So on the main dashboard page, this is actually going to show you all the activity that's been going on on your account. So if you have multiple projects, this is going to be showing you all the different projects uh, and all their activities right here. Going to everything, this is actually going to give you a list of all the tasks and everything that's been completed across all of your projects. Now going back to projects, projects is going to have all your projects listed off here. So as you can see, we've actually got one project right here ready for us to demo. So we're going to open that project now. This is the task list. What we're going to do is we're actually going to come back to the task list and we're going to start by going to the overview section. So we're going to go to overview. So this overview is actually specific to this project. This is going to give you kind of uh, some of your analytics here. Um, if we go to tasks, that's going to show our tasks. So these are going to be uh, the board for all of your tasks. If you need to create a new one, you can do so right here by clicking add new card. And you'll see that actually pops up with a new card here. And you can type in whatever sort of title you'd like for this project. So let's just call this new project number one. And we're going to go ahead and save that. So as you can see, it actually starts off with another one down below. So you can keep creating these uh, if you have a number of tasks to do it. If you click on that task, it's actually going to open up our quick view over here on the right. So this quick view is going to show you the task. You can go ahead and click on this pencil next to it. And that's going to give you your options to actually edit this task. So you can pick the uh, individual assigned. This is typically going to be your account manager. So you'll see you've got yourself here first. So right here, our client is Theodore. Um, and then you can see all of our Arctic Leaf staff. So we're going to go ahead and assign this to Ted. If you click through these, you'll actually see you've got a description section. So this will typically be filled out by the Arctic Leaf team. Uh, but you have that here if you need to edit anything in it. If you click on files, this is actually going to be where you can upload any sort of files you need to this task. If you have any screenshots, anything of that sort. The priority level and the progress and time, these are also done by the Arctic Leaf team. To the right of that, we've got followers. So followers, this is going to be who actually has access to see uh, what sort of activity is happening on this task. So if you want, you can assign any sort of individual. You can unassign yourself if you don't want to receive notifications. So if you do have a larger team that is working in the project portal, uh, and you just want to be able to see it, but not necessarily get notifications, you can set up your status there. So you can get notifications for all notifications, only status changes, or only comments. And then we're going to actually skip over to the reminder section. So if you'd like to set up a reminder, you can do so right there. And you'll see it actually pops up with a little window here. It lets you choose what date. So we want to be reminded to follow up here, and we'll say next week on Wednesday. You can pick the time of day. So we'll do 10 a.m. The person that you'd like to be assigned. So we're going to pick ourselves. And then right here, we're going to say follow up. And add this reminder. And you'll see it actually adds that reminder right there for you. To the right of that, we've got our tags and our board columns. So our tags is what the Arctic Leaf team uses to help organize these tags. So these are not typically going to be done by you, but you do have access to them. So if there is something you want to tag uh, for yourself, you can do so right there. And the same goes for the board view. This will be another thing that the Arctic Leaf team will 
uh, manage, but if you need to actually move it to development or design, you can do so right there. And if we click save changes, you'll see it actually moved it to design right there. Now going down, you've got another section you can actually add your files. And then down below that, we've got our comment section. So if you just created this task, and now you actually want to ping your account manager. And then down below that, we can actually pick who is going to receive this. So if there's multiple team members you'd like to select, you can do so right there. You can click update. And then we can post our comment. And you'll see it actually posts that comment right here. And then what will happen is the Arctic Leaf team will actually get that comment, they'll review it, and then they'll respond back. So let's see if we get a response. And you'll see Ted actually responded right there. So now we're actually going to click out of this. And you'll see that task is here. You can always click on it to reopen that quick preview. Now another way to actually go ahead and look at this is what's called the list view. So we're going to actually go ahead and click on the list view now. So the list view is going to have all your tasks listed off here. So if that's easier for you to look at, you have that ability right there. You can also create tasks here as well. So if we want to create a new one, we can say new project. And again, we can pick who we want to assign to it. If you'd like to assign multiple people, you can do so there as well. And save changes. And you'll see that adds that right there. So now we're going to go to milestones. So under milestones, this is going to have the, uh, the milestone that we have set for your project. So uh, that'll be something typically done in the estimates. Um, if it's a per hour basis, you may not have this section filled out. Next, we'll take a look at messages. So under messages, this is going to be your way of emailing uh, the Arctic Leaf team with any sort of request. Typically, this will be done um, non-specific to a task, so something general for your site. And then again, we can choose what team members we'd like to select. So we're going to go ahead and select Ted. If you need to attach any files, you can do so right there. And then now we're actually going to post the message. So what this will do is this will actually ping your account manager, and they'll get that message you typed in there. And we see Ted actually got back to us. So absolutely, I have the team on this now. I will touch base and give you a full update end of day. Great, so Ted got our message, and we'll just wait for another reply. So now let's go through the rest of the portal. So going back up to the top, you see messages. To the right of messages is actually files. So if you click on that, that's going to have all your files listed here in the project. So typically, this will be uh, mocks, uh, any sort of images. If you have screenshots of different things of sites that you like or different sort of edits that you'd like completed, you can put all of those in here. To the right of that is time. So this is going to be all the times logged on your project. So you can see um, what's, what the developers are actually doing on your project, um, how many design hours have been completed, all that. And then comments. This is actually going to show all of your comments across all the different tasks and messages. And then lastly, we're going to go up to the top, and we're going to click on this little bell. This is going to be your notifications. When you click on that, that's going to give you a drop down of all the notifications. So these are the things that the project portal uh, is alerting you to, uh, not knowing if you've seen it or not. And if you go ahead and click on it, it takes you directly there. So as you can see, this took us to the task list, where Ted actually commented here, and it highlighted it for us. If we go back up to the top, you can go ahead and click on the next one. And you'll see that takes us directly back to the messages.
And again, words had responded back to us. Going back up to the top, you'll see where it says TC right here. If you click on that drop down, this is gonna give you your profile settings. So if we go down to edit my details, you can see this is where we can actually edit our email. We can edit our name. We've got our account settings. You can even put in a phone number. Uh, this will be helpful as well. Arctic Leaf will put in your phone number. However, if you do change your number and you want the team to be able to get a hold of you, you can actually make sure you update that there as well. That'll conclude our session today. If you ever have any questions, the Arctic Leaf team will always be available. Uh, you can always get a hold of them, uh, calling or email, and we are happy to help. Thanks for listening. Bye.